So it's all over the news. It's the end of the 6% commission. Hi, I'm Ernest Burkhoff, broker and CEO at Burkhoff Realty. And today I wanted to talk and dig in to get below the headlines because my gosh, there's a lot more going on than, uh, than some of the articles. I've been reading articles that are saying, oh, at the end of the 6% commission, that means that housing prices are gonna go down. Um, well, let's just kind of talk a little bit about it. So first of all, I want to get a, some background. So the National Association of Realtors you know, proposed their settlements where they are no longer going to require a listing broker, someone who has the, uh, the listing, to provide a cooperating broker with a piece of that commission. So that's essentially what they're saying they're, they're going to do. Here in Sonoma County and in the Bay Area, we have an independent multiple listing service and we have never required that. So we are not part of it here in, in Northern California. However, I do want to kind of explain. So they, we, and, we, and we do offer cooperation with other brokers. So we're not required to uh, and we're not required to do it in any amount. However, it makes a really, it's, it's a pretty good idea. So, so we often do it. Um, so here's the thing. They started doing an advertising and, and actually the National Association in some places started forcing people to provide that cooperation because there was a problem. And this goes back, you know, in the, in the 70s when real estate brokers only represented the seller. So legally, they were representing the seller and a buyer would come in and they had no actual representation. So even though the real estate agent would be performing acts for both sides. They were legally only representing the seller, leaving the buyer kind of on their own. So the transaction itself, it's big, it's complicated. And what they realized, what society, what we all realized was, wait a minute, the buyers should have representation, but how are we going to do that? Because if a buyer comes in back in the day, the listing agent was like, hey, I'm gonna to try to sell you my house, right? This is the house I want to, to do because I get paid. Oh, there may be a house across town that is better for you, but I'm not gonna get paid on that one. So I'm just selling you my house, right? So there's a lot of pushing, a lot of, of, of that thing going on. So what they wanted to do is make it a more transparent market to make it a more efficient market by allowing any broker, so if a buyer comes in today, I could say, hey, my house is a good fit for you, hooray. Or I can say, you know what, what is the best house for you? And then we can go out and find it. And I know that I'm gonna get paid if we find you the great house, right? So that was what they tried to do. They wanted to make sure that buyers were being represented. That's how, how it started. Where it crossed the line is where National Association of Realtors in some parts of the country were requiring a broker to provide that um, cooperating commission. Once you're requiring something, now you're basically price fixing and the, and the whole thing kind of unraveled. So again, here in Sonoma County, we've never done that. Here in Northern California, we've never done that. Uh, it's never been required. Um, however, in my opinion, and I think how this will all shake out, it is a really good idea to offer a cooperating uh, commission to another broker so that a buyer is represented and we don't go back to the old days where real estate agents are trying to force people into homes that are not necessarily the best for them. So that's my background on it. That's kind of my two cents on it. We'll see how this all shakes out throughout the uh, area. I do not anticipate it causing any real disruptions here in Northern California. More on this later, but I want to give everybody that uh, that heads up. If you have any questions about this, give me a call, 707-480-4800 is the number. Happy to kind of talk you through it.